What I am attempting today is relatively simple inside, more complicated outside where I'm going to pipe. So I made this simple birdhouse with a bird, which I will put inside. It's going to be all white and I'm going to use Lily of the Valley and it accelerates fast. So they'll basically, it's just simple. Get this in hopefully. And then I want to try and paint um, a set of lilies on each bar. Not paint, but pipe. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to attempt kind of a big fat leaf with my Wilton 13 tip. Then pipe kind of like the stem on top of that with the Wilton 3 and then kind of pipe little lily bells with the Wilton 59. Um, I'm not sure how these tips will work, especially this one, but right now that's what I'm going to play with. I have some backup ones if these don't quite go as planned, but that's the goal. We'll see what happens. Really not quite sure, <laughs> but I hope it turns out good.
lily of the valley. I knew the um, birdhouse didn't get in perfectly horizontal. I probably would have put it down more in the bottom next time, but that's okay. Look at that top. I'm really pleased with the piping. Like, I didn't know how well it would work. And I just, I don't know, I was a little bit nervous when I was was making, piping it, and that one shifted a little bit more. Yeah, I had, so I had some purple and some pink. Um, this was one of the first bars where I kind of started at an angle and then I realized I should just do it straight. So that one's... I love the little bird in the birdhouse. Like, I basically kept this all white because one, this fragrance accelerates. Um, I didn't stick blend it, so I actually had time to get it in the mold without any issues and get the embed in. But I wanted, look, purple on one side, pink on the other. I wanted the top to kind of stand out and didn't want to like compete with the top so that's why I decided just to keep it all white and just do a larger embed and I'm I'm happy with that I'm glad I I didn't try to make this some sort of color so you have a design it does go all the way through and you have the top but yeah I I really like this simple birdhouse. When you add the bird to it, I think it's I I just I really like it. I was surprised. I didn't think of the three birdhouses I made. I didn't think that one would be my favorite, but it kind of is. There's the pink bird. Oh, just look at that top. I really am pleased with how these turned out. Let me know what you think. I hope you like it. I am... Um, I do. This is probably one of my favorite spring soaps I made. The... March Soap Club Challenge is piped or textured tops. So I used to pipe a lot years ago. I rarely do it now. It's, it's not my favorite thing to do, but I can do it and I am decent at it. Before soap dough and embeds and all that came along, piping was kind of the option if you wanted decorative stuff. So that's that's what I did. I have two ideas for this challenge. This first one is lilies of the valley soap and the second one's a sunflower themed soap. I kind of have already done a lily of the valley so I this was my first attempt at at piping them and I was pretty pleased with it so you can see I had just a cute little birdhouse and a bird in there and I really like this up. I love how it turned out. So I got it in my head that maybe I could make actual lilies <laughs> um, and embed those in. So I did them. We won't talk about how much of a pain it was to make these. Uh, extruding this thin piece was a little bit torturous, but I did it. And once I extruded all of them pieces, put them together, I was like, well, if I do a white base, the flowers will get lost. So I played around with like a really light pale green and a really pale pink. And I just, I didn't like it. I wanted a white base. So what I decided to do was coat my lengths in mica. So that when I put them in the white, they will stand out. I think 
this will work and we'll see when I cut it um, <laughs> but I, I I do think it will work and I think it will be cute and then I'll pipe the flowers on top I learned some stuff while doing these so I'm, I'm hoping I can actually pipe them even better I made two sizes so first I did these small ones and I was like no that's gonna be too little in a big white batch so then I made big ones but I already had all the small ones so I decided to make put the big ones in my five pound mold and then make another just smaller batch and put multiple lengths of the small ones in and see what I get and how I like each um, result so that's what I'm gonna get into and I had a hard time getting them in because the batter was thickening, which I knew this fragrance accelerated. I had used it before, but this time I got a little bit of racing, so I had to stick blend it, which made it go quicker than last time where it didn't. But I actually, I think that's cute. I wish I'd got them a little further down so that it was centered um but that embed is really cute and i i am so glad that i did the white base and then just dusted them there's the top i cut the the tops got a little they weren't quite centered on this small batch <laughs> so I, some of the flowers got a little cut on the edges, but I'll just take it off. That's not bad. I'm curious to see what the big one, just the single lily. Look at that. So my white batter was getting a little too thick. So I couldn't kind of do what I did the first time, which was just kind of draping it. So I ended up kind of doing like a heart pattern. It's not 100% what I was going for, but the soap was getting thick and you do what you can. So there's the first one. We'll see what the next batch looks like with the large now. So <laughs> I um I said it's not quite as smooth as the first time because the soap was getting thicker on me than I liked. Well it was it didn't it didn't get thick, it just was slightly too thick to start. 
um, and so, it, like I said, I had to change how I piped it just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's see what the big one gives us. So I had a little extra length of the big one. So there's the first. It got a little sideways. I wish it was either straight or tilted the other way. There's the top. Isn't that pretty? But I still think that's cute and it does, it stands out. Here's the one where I had two. I think two big ones is a little overkill. But I wasn't going to waste the embeds. And so in it went. <laughs> that is... It's pretty. Which do you prefer? This was in a different loaf, so the bars, it's wider, which made piping these a little bit different too, but as I said, I had extra embeds and I didn't want to waste them, so I made that small batch. I don't know which I like better. Maybe this one? I don't know. I like them both. The lilies were a pain to make though, so the chances of me making them again... <laughs> don't know how, how, how big a chance there is. Never say never. You know, I come back to something a year or two later and I forget how much work it actually was. And then I'm like, sure, I can do this again. I... You know what? I'm happy. It's not perfect. But I think it captures the spirit of the lily of the valley flower. I think too big is definitely a little bit of overkill, but maybe a big and a small would have been good. I don't know. have it. That is... Oh, I got a little air bubble. My Lily of the Valley attempt for this month's soap challenge club. Next up is the sunflower soap, though <laughs> I don't know which order I'll sh show these in in the video, so 